The language of God is an attempt to describe my own search for harmony between the spiritual and the scientific worldviews. As a believer in God, I find this the way to answer fundamental questions about why we are all here. As a scientist, I use the tools of science to understand how nature works. The joyful conclusion of this book is that these worldviews are not in conflict. In fact, they are joyfully complementary. I became a believer in God in my 20s after I'd already started on a path towards becoming a scientist studying the genome, the DNA instruction book. Some people warned me that I might be on a pathway towards an explosion in my head because of the potential discordance of these perspectives. I didn't find that to be the case. And I encountered many others who were struggling with those issues, especially young people. And so I set about to try to put down in these pages the arguments for the rationality of belief from the perspective of someone who is both a believer in a personal God and a working scientist. It seems that the conflict between science and faith has been escalating. Extremists on both sides of this divide claim that their perspective is the only acceptable one. Atheistic evolutionists insist that faith is a superstition that should be abandoned. Fundamentalist believers claim that science is untrustworthy and dangerous. Clearly, we need in these difficult times to ask questions about whether that kind of extreme separation is necessary or whether we could find, collectively, a happy harmony in the middle. This book outlines a possible way to achieve that and one which I have found intensely satisfying.